Hello everyone, hope you're doing wonderful today. Welcome to another video. Today's video is about an in-depth of how I do the Petri effect using alcohol inks and resin. From my experience, I'll tell you what kind of resin you need to use, what you need to look for and what is the best time to drop in the inks. So let's get started. The first thing is the kind of resin you need to use to get the best of this effect. Use a resin that has a longer pot life or working time. So what is pot life? Pot life is the time within which the resin once mixed with the hardener will remain in the liquid state at a given temperature. For alcohol inks to do their job with resin, we need a resin that has a longer working time. I have chosen a resin today that has a working time of 45 minutes. So for the first thing I will do is I will mix my resin and hardener and I will allow it to be for around 10 minutes so that all the bubbles will rise to the top. Alright guys, so now it's 2 for 235 and I will leave it for 10 minutes and we will come back at 245 and drop the first alcohol inks. While the resin is resting, let's move on to the alcohol inks. So you have a variety of alcohol inks. This is an Indian brand, Beyond Inks. Then you have Pinata and Ranger. Apart from the colored inks, the most important one for the Petri effect is the white ink. So the white ink from Pinata is the best one for this effect. The white ink is denser than the colored inks, so when you drop the white over the colored ink, it causes the inks to sink down in resin to create that battery effect. It's been 10 minutes since we mixed the resin and uh, now I'm going to drop the first set of inks. So at the, uh, intervals of 10 minutes, I'm going to drop in the alcohol inks and we'll see what happens. The procedure is very simple, pour the resin into the mold, pop the bubbles and then put your colored alcohol ink first followed by a drop of the white ink on top of, the, on top of it. Alright, I've done two colors and you can see the white just disappearing into the resin. So the white is sinking to the bottom because the resin is very fluid right now. few points to keep in mind. The timing at which you get the desired battery effect may be different for different bands of resin. So to find out which time works the best for you or gives you the best effect, just experiment like this. Drop in your inks at intervals of 10 or you can just drop in the inks when you feel the resin has started to thicken up. Keep one thing in mind, as the resin starts to become more and more thick, the inks will sink less, spread more and sink less. Another small point to keep in mind, uh, small here, and I have dropped the inks twice, the colored ink followed by the white ink twice, uh, which will cause 
more of the effects to take place so if you do not want too much of the effect to take place drop the inks only once if you're working on a small mold ideally the battery effect looks really really great on a larger surface area so do this on large molds like the coaster mold or something like that you can drop in the inks many times over there Resin pieces 10, 20 and 30 minute mark are dominated with white ink at the bottom. For this particular resin, I felt that the effects took place the best at from 45 minute mark to around 1 or 15 minute mark. resin that you have to find out what time would create the best battery effect for you so i hope this video helps you in creating some great battery effects if you like the video please do give it a thumbs up thank you so much for watching do subscribe comment like and share for more videos i'll see you in the next one